Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm glad that you're here. Um, today we're going to make stuffed cabbage rolls. Now these are traditional for up north and they're called pigs in a blanket there. In the south, pigs in the blanket are either hot dogs or sausages that are wrapped in um, biscuit or some kind of dough and then they're baked. But this is stuffed cabbage in it. So it's simple and delicious and you can make this into a casserole with all the same ingredients and just throw it all together into a baking dish and throw it in the oven instead of rolling each individual um, cabbage so let's get started on stuffed cabbage mm, let's go Now I've already started um, my hamburger meat in the little pot there and I've started some salted water in the big one so we can put our cabbage in there. I'm just going to chop up some onion, use what onion you have, and I'm going to chop up the peppers here and you can use green peppers, whatever color you like. I like these because they are sweeter. And once we get that done, we're going to add it right there to the ground beef mixture and cook them until they are soft. I'm just going to core this cabbage. Um, you want to be very careful when you do this because it is a very um, hard core and I don't want you to cut yourself but to get that core out of there and then we're going to put it in the boiling water and it's going to be the core side where it was down because you want all that water to get up in and cook um, the inside of that cabbage. Now while all that's cooking, we're going to throw together some sauce. So what I have here is a large can, I believe it's 24 ounces, of crushed tomatoes, and then a small can of tomato sauce, and then laying there, I'm going to use this, it's what I had left of a can of um, tomato paste, and I just stored it in there so I could put it in the refrigerator. And I'm just going to cut the tip of that off and squeeze that right in and give it a good mixture before we start adding our seasonings. that the sauce is all together we're going to set it to the side and here is our ground beef mixture I'm going to drain the fat and then we're going to add about a cup of that sauce um, to this mixture this ground beef mixture and give that a good mix And now 
now on to the cabbage. Um, it should be boiling really good and it will quick fair, uh, cook fairly quickly. <laughs> And as you can see here, I am just pulling the leaves off. Um, if they're not soft enough to where you can roll the meat in them, then just peel them off and let them simmer in there for just a little bit. But I have a bunch of them here, and then we're going to start assembling. So I've got some sauce um, that I put in the bottom of the pan. I did spray my pan before I put the sauce in. Now I'm going to show you how to roll up a couple of these, and then we're just going to keep rolling until we fill the pan. So just take a little bit of your meat mixture, put it in the middle, and you're going to roll it kind of like an egg roll. I tuck in the sides and then roll. And if it's a bigger one, then I'll roll a little bit, tuck in the sides, and roll again. And be sure to put the seam side down as you fill the pan. piggies in the pan. I'm going to take that extra sauce and add it to the extra meat mixture and this is what we're going to put on top of our pigs um, before we put them in the oven. But you can see that I had extra cabbage and you can use this however you want to. You can um, make a different dish with it like a uh, sausage and cabbage and that's really good or you can do like I do and just chop it up and put it right on the top and then I'll put the sauce on top of that. And like I said in the beginning, this can be a casserole, and that's how you make it a casserole. You don't make um, each individual one like this. You chop up your cabbage and mix your um, meat mixture all together, and then you can top it with cheese and bake it like that. But I like to every now and then do the pigs themselves in, uh, individually. Um, I topped mine with Parmesan cheese and it is delicious. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed cooking with me today. Hit that follow button if you haven't already so you don't miss a recipe. I upload videos once a week. Have a great week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.